Sandy Munro is back and we are going to be talking about the differences between Tesla's LFP batteries and the upcoming 4680 batteries that all the cool kids are talking about and we're gonna start right now. Ooh, welcome to E4 Electric. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and the bell notification icon so you don't miss Sandy's future appearances on this channel as well as our weekly electric car news. All right, so this is the second part of our bigger conversation about Tesla's LFP batteries. I put a link to the first part in the description of this video. And before I bring Sandy back in, a quick reminder that this video is brought to you by the Volkswagen ID4 EV, which I am now a proud owner of. In addition to all of the gadgets and perks, it comes with three years of unlimited charging at over 500 Electrify America DC fast chargers here in the United States. See if you love the ID4 as much as I do by exploring the link in the description of this video. Obviously, I mean, just from what I'm hearing, 4680s is still a huge step up from the LFPs. Uh, I guess LFPs- Only if you want speed. I mean, the, the, the big thing is they can, they can discharge a lot faster. And when you step on the accelerator, they'll, they'll give you the power you're looking for like right now. Um, they, they, they're denser, they, they hold more, more uh, energy inside. So that's kind of, uh, I'm trying to keep this in layman terms and I'm sure you're gonna get a lot of hate mail because Sandy didn't say blah, blah. Sandy is not gonna go down the science route or the engineering route. Uh, nobody can really understand that crap unless you in that fuzzy one percentile, um, I'll just stay at a high level and say that it's the difference between a four cylinder engine and an eight because the battery is the power. The electric motor just makes things go around. It's like a crankshaft. So if we keep it light and, what do they call it, light and cheerful or whatever, then that's, that's kind of like where we want to be. It's, uh, it, it just doesn't give you as much oomph as what, uh, what the, um, the other uh, battery cells will give you. Thanks for keeping it light and cheerful. It's uh, that way my brain doesn't catch on fire like a Chevy Bolt. So I appreciate that. And I, I and you know, mm -hmm. we are trying to look at everything from the standpoint of a, of a consumer, uh, right. which makes me wonder, okay, is there a possibility that when 4680s come out, um, then LFP may still be um, a reasonable solution for cars that don't need to be performance cars, but may cost less than uh, producing the batteries. Is, is there a way LFPs are sticking around once, once 4680s are in full production? Oh, I think so, yeah. I, I, believe, I don't know why we didn't bring them in earlier. Tesla right now is, um, is um, the demand is greater than the supply. When that happens, um, it's a good idea to sell to the customer. And if you sell to the customer and say, okay, you can have this one or that one, and the reason you want this is because it's a little less money or it, uh, it brings, um, uh, it, you, you're not a rocket ship anymore, but, but you can still get from point A to point B. When, when things like that, when consumers see that and they can make a choice, it's always good. And I think that uh, Tesla's doing a good job of uh, giving the customer um, a little something that a little different you can have it right now if you choose this battery. And as far as I'm concerned, all the batteries come from, well, most every other company uses Chinese batteries. It's another Chinese battery and it works just fine. It'll be no problem. Now, since we're talking about 4680s now, you know, obviously they've been delayed a little bit. So, well, I have a couple of questions. First, are you surprised that, the, that there is a delay in, in Tesla making the 4680 batteries? Um, I am, but I'm not. Uh, I am because I thought that they had, uh, they had the, um, the magic sauce and they were ready to go. Um, but then I'm not because, uh, I know that when you go into testing and validation, something happens, stuff happens. And when that stuff happens, if you find that there's a little bit something wrong with the chemistry or you get flaws, like we usually talk about Six Sigma, which is three bad, three bad parts in, um, in a million. That, uh, if it doesn't hit Six Sigma, you've got a problem. When you look at things like batteries and chips and whatnot, you're at Seven Sigma and that's three bad parts in a billion. 
So the sigma value goes like a hockey stick. It's exponential. It's not linear at all. Um, batteries, they, you don't want to have a dead battery um, every couple of million. You want to you, you want to have a seven sigma kind of a process. And if they haven't got it, then they go back to the drawing board to find out why. So it doesn't surprise me on one hand because it's a brand new technology. The, the 2170 has been around forever. The, uh, the 4680 is brand spanking new. So there's always going to be hiccups. So it's probably what's going on right now. There's a hiccup and uh, they want to make sure that when they put it out, they don't get dead cells or anything else that can go wrong. No, at first Tesla was just going to make these batteries on their own. Now it seems like they're going to get Panasonic to jump in and it looks like they're getting some bits from other battery cell makers. Uh, do you think it's a better idea for Tesla to just continue outsourcing it, you know, uh, their technology, but have, have the actual battery cell makers make it for them? Or do you think they should have stuck with, hey, we're going to do everything ourselves and have full control? Now, the growth is too much, too fast. Um, uh, it's a bad business decision sometimes to be 100% vertically integrated. What happens when your factory burns down? We had situations like that for uh, um, a plastic additive plant burned down, and, it, and everybody found out it was the only plant in the whole world. It was in Germany. When it burned to the ground, okay, we couldn't, I can't remember it was, um, um, I can't remember which plastic it was, but a style of plastic. Like, I'm going to say TPO because I, I think that's it, but I can't remember. But anyway, that plastics uh, additive plant burned down and nobody could make TPO. Uh, that, that, uh, that was a big deal. That caused all kinds of grief t around the world. Um, so we, we, it's a good idea to have other people build it. And, and quite frankly, I'm pretty sure that um, Tesla's growth is like phenomenal. They're going to they're gonna hit a million probably before the year end, a million vehicles. And, um, <clears throat> and you, people forget that that's a million vehicles here in, in, uh, in the U.S. And um, people forget that um, General Motors only makes three million. I mean... That's, that's a phenomenal amount, 3 million ordinary cars. That's a phenomenal amount of, um, of growth. And when you've got growth like that, you're going to have to have friends to help you out. So getting them from Panasonic or Cattell, if they, if they go to, um, um, uh, to China, that's what you do. I mean, it's, uh, you, you got to keep the customers. Because if the customer doesn't get what he wants, he's going to go and find something else. Fair enough. Well, Sandy, thanks once again and breaking this down. I have to say that I didn't really take them that seriously at first. And, and lately, it's, it's, I mean, now that you're telling me that they, they'll be around for a while, it's, it's definitely, I'm, I'm glad I talked to you. So thanks once again, and I will see you next time. And you will. Thanks so much. Thanks, Alex. Have a great weekend. All right, Sandy, we'll be back on this channel next week. So don't forget to subscribe. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to his channel. I put a link to it in the description of this video. And of course, don't forget to join me every week for our subscriber hangout live every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Pacific. You can set a reminder on the homepage of this channel. All right, looking forward to all of your comments. Other than that, see you guys next time. And remember to stay charged. Take it